places, everyone.
was always so exciting. picture. It's when Woody told Sarge and the army men to find Andy's cell phone. Andy was about to leave for college, and he hadn't played with us for years. If the army men got his cell phone, we could call it and get his attention. Let's get to the air vent, men. Objective is to aim for the door, men.
ground located. Prepare for jump. Get the parachute ready, men. the toy box and left the room. A little later, Andy's mom told him to sort through everything in his room before he left for college. He decided to take Woody with him and put the rest of us in a garbage bag. We didn't know, but Andy was going to bring the garbage bag we were in up to the attic. Before he could, his mom put us out on the curb by mistake. Thanks to my pointy tail, we got out of the garbage bag, ran into the garage, and hid. Then Buzz saw a box going to Sunnyside Daycare and decided to find us all so we could hide in the box and get donated. I wonder where they could be hiding. I'll take that. Thank <laughs> you. 
everything will be fine. Perhaps I could use this. Fantastic! Gotcha. Take that. Huh? Oh, boy. Oh. Don't worry, we're a family. The most important thing is, we stay together. We'll get through this. Oh. Oh. 
I know where we're going. We were all together, thanks to Buzz. located Zerg's territory. I'm going to switch off this infernal machine before it's too late.
still up in the bedroom while we were down in the garage. When Woody saw what a big mistake Andy's mom made, he rushed down to tell us. Think, Woody, think. I just need to get out of this room so I can find my friends. <sighs> right outside. If I just turn on the TV, she'll have to open the door.
Okay, Woody, just don't get spotted. This thing does. Yeah. Woody finally made it to the garage. 
the trunk and drove to Sunnyside. When we got there, a bear named Lotso welcomed us and he showed us around. He smelled like strawberries. Woody tried to convince everyone to go back to Andy, but we wanted to stay at Sunnyside and get played with again. No one could believe it, but Woody decided to leave without us. of our first playtime at Sunnyside. Lotso put us in the caterpillar room. It didn't go as well as we'd hoped. The children in the caterpillar room were too young. They didn't know how to play with us. Buzz had to distract them before we really got hurt. I need to get to that mobile quickly. I'm sure I can reach the mobile if I go this way. I'll take that.
mobile player. I can't be spotted by those two. do something with this. Perfect. If I go this way, I can get the cassette without anybody seeing it. Proceed with caution.
Here's one. get out of the caterpillar room so he could ask Lotso to transfer us to the butterfly room. This drawing shows what happened to Woody while we were in the caterpillar room. Woody was trying to leave Sunnyside and go back to Andy. Luckily, he spotted an open window. Gotta keep a low profile.
somebody poisoned the water hole. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Perfect! I've always wanted to learn how to fly. As 
the sunny side yard, he got stuck in a tree. That's when Bonnie found him and brought him here. What's that? Bandits put up a roadblock to stop the train? Get ready, Bullseye! Let's ride like the wind! following Lotso, so he can talk to him about moving us to the butterfly room. Something about Lotso seemed suspicious. So Buzz decided to find out what was going on. And since Lotso smelled like strawberries, he just followed the fruity scent. Lucky for me, Lotso smells like strawberries. I should be able to follow his scent. I'll take that! Fantastic! forward.
another one. I need to stay clear of the hot steam coming out of those pipes. Oh boy! Yikes! I'm sure I could do something with this. I'll take that. Fantastic! 
Persia. machine if I don't avoid the lights from that truck. Oh. Oh. Lots of strawberry scent led Buzz to the inside of a vending machine. like Buzz had hoped in the vending machine. They captured him and took him to the library. He soon figured out that Lotso put us with the little kids on purpose. And when Buzz wouldn't cooperate, Lotso had him switch to demo mode. It was horrible. Buzz thought he was a real space ranger again and didn't know we were his friends. Buzz started working for Lotso and he even locked us up for being minions of the evil Emperor Zerg! Buzz, let your mission log. The threat is real. I found Zerg's crystallic rocket, and it's about to launch. I've got to get closer and find a way to stop it.
didn't know we were in trouble at Sunnyside. He was looking for a way to get back to Andy's from Bonnie's house. Bonnie's toys told Woody where the computer was so he could look at a map. First, he had to find a way out of the bedroom. So he decided to look for some batteries and turn on the radio. I'll have to find some batteries for the radio. There's a snake in my boot. No. I wonder what this thing does. Oh, yes. Okay, now I go straight ahead. No, it worked. Great. Hmm, I'm sure this could be useful. Look! 
Wow! I wonder what this thing does. If I follow Trixie's instructions to get to the computer, I need to sneak by here without being spotted. Lotso was probably keeping us prisoner, and that the only way to save us was to disable the security cameras. So Woody decided to go back to Sunnyside. There's Woody coming back to Sunnyside to rescue us. Woody had hidden in Bonnie's back. He quickly came up with an escape plan. He'd climb into the ceiling and make his way to the control room, where the controls were for the security cameras. Slinky went with Woody to help.
pass there if I don't stop that blade. Sure, this could be useful. Hurry up, Woody! Hmm. Better find a way to turn off the ventilation system. thing does.
can't let myself be seen. Oh, yes! to watch out for the cameras. to let us out of ours.
Jessie made sure Buzz wouldn't be a problem, then she went to find the keys to open each of our cells. Jesse? Uh.
You have saved my life. Once we were all free, we tried to fix bugs. By complete mistake, we accidentally switched Buzz to Spanish mode. On the bright side, he didn't think we were his enemies anymore, and he was a much better dancer. Then we snuck across the yard to escape through the garbage chute. We didn't mean to end up in a dumpster that got emptied into a garbage truck and taken to the city dump, but we did. The good thing about all that garbage was that Buzz got hit in the head with a television set and remembered he was our friend. This picture is at the dump when most of us ended up on the conveyor belt heading directly for the trash shredder. So Buzz started looking for pieces of metal so we could be safe. There have to be pieces of metal in here somewhere. Thanks, Buzz.
safe for long, though. Right after that, we fell onto another belt headed toward the incinerator. Lucky for us, the aliens had gone to another part of the dump. Buzz Light, your mission log. All signs point to this planet as the location of Zerg's fortress. I'll find him and neutralize him once and for all.
the machine the aliens went to find when we first got to the dump. So when we were headed to the incinerator, they were our last hope.
be gone to save our friends. Saved us all from a fiery destruction.
Here's Buzz trying to catch up with us on the way back to Andy's. We were all in the garbage truck on our way home, but Buzz fell out and had to jump from car to car to keep up with us. Luckily, Buzz is very talented. 
he made it to the garbage truck, and we all got home together. On his way to college, Andy brought us here. Andy was sad to say goodbye, but he knew Bonnie would take very good care of us. Andy was right. Places, everybody. Bonnie's back from daycare. Oh boy, playtime! Let your mission look. Last I found the Zergbach factory on an uncharted planet. I must get to the center of the factory if I'm going to ruin Zerg's evil plans.
Buzz Lightyear mission log. I received an SOS signal from a group of alien civilians. I'm going to investigate, find out what's wrong, and save the day.
Trapped inside a blazing inferno? You hear that, Bullseye? Let's ride! You're the best horse a cowboy could ask for!
That was close. Sheriff Woody is here to save the day. It's great to see you. See you later. 